Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Later on 6. Today is Tuesday, August the 16th, 2016. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, a Tullahoma man is found dead near the Dossett Apartments on Monday. The state is investigating an outbreak of equine pyroplasmosis. State Highway 840 has been designated Interstate 840. Motlow College will be offering a course to prepare students for the ACT test and will meet the members of the state champion Little League team from Tullahoma. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. I'm Philip Bourne, standing now Detail Shop Manager. Here are a few things our customers have to say about our service. What I love most about the Stan McNabb Detail Shop is there's someone local that I can trust to pick up my car, have it cleaned, and deliver it back to me in showroom condition. What really amazed me is when he opened the hood and looked like he had taken the old engine out and put a new engine inside. We have several different packages and individual services to get your vehicle looking like new again. We're located just behind Stan McNabb Chevrolet dealership. Call today, schedule an appointment, and see what a difference our detail can make. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. Tullahoma Fire Department, Tullahoma Fire Department, need you en route to a structure fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing, neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. I've got one! I've got one! Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. Welcome back. A Tullahoma man was found dead Monday. Officers of the Tullahoma Police Department were dispatched to the area of 927 East Grundy Street, Dossett Apartments, in regards to a man on the ground and unresponsive at approximately 11 p.m. on Monday. Upon officers' arrival, they found Carlos Joseph Harris, Jr., age 21, unresponsive from what appeared to be a single puncture wound to the chest. Officers began CPR on Mr. Harris until the arrival of Coffee County EMS when Harris was pronounced dead by EMS personnel. The investigation by the Tullahoma Police Department is ongoing. Any information about this incident should be directed to investigator Johnny Gore at 931-455 0530 or at TPD or TPD rather at TullahomaTN.gov. The state veterinarian's office is investigating an outbreak of equine pyroplasmosis or EP in a group of racing quarter horses in Tennessee. EP is a blood parasite that affects equines. Although it can be transmitted through infected ticks, today it is more commonly spread by blood and blood products through the sharing of needles, syringes, or improperly cleaned and disinfected dental, tattoo, surgical, or blood product equipment between infected and uninfected horses. 17 horses have tested positive for EP in Middle Tennessee. All are connected to the same location in Rutherford County. The investigation is ongoing. It may take as long as 30 days for the infected horses to test positive for the disease after exposure. Early clinical signs can range from weakness and lack of appetite to swelling of limbs and labored breathing. Horses that survive the acute phase continue to carry the parasite for an extended period of time. Horses that test positive for the disease are quarantined and may be euthanized. Horses will not transmit the disease to other horses through casual contact. However, it is critical that horses 
horse handlers practice good biosecurity. If a needle is required, horse caregivers should use a new sterile needle and syringe on every horse and clean and disinfect all equine equipment that may be contaminated with blood. Some states and equine competitors, or rather competitions, require EP testing for entrance. If you plan to travel with your horse, check with the receiving state for current import requirements. The Tennessee Department of Transportation has received approval from the Federal Highway Administration to designate State Route 840 as Interstate 840. The change, uh, the change was requested to encourage more economic growth along the corridor and more traffic diversion around Middle Tennessee's urban core. The primary purpose of SR 840 when it, initiate, when it was initiated in 1986 was to promote economic development by improving access to the many communities located along the route. Since then, more than 20 major industrial sites have opened directly adjacent to SR 840. Having an interstate designation could encourage more industries to consider locating in Middle Tennessee, which increases employment opportunities for the state. Interstates also provide a level of expectation and confidence for drivers. Motorists can maintain a higher speed and avoid congestion that might be found on state routes. TDOT anticipates the interstate designation will encourage passengers and freight traffic moving through the state to take the route which will help to reduce congestions in Nashville and surrounding areas. TDOT will begin installing I-840 signage next week and expects the work to be complete late this year. The cost to replace the signs on state routes and in interstates is $230,000. The 840, the 840 corridor was completed in 2012, providing access to Interstate 40 west and east of Nashville, along with connections to Interstate 24 and 65. It travels through Dixon, Hickman, Rutherford, Williamson, and Wilson counties. More News Leader on 6 is coming up right after these messages. Have you heard the news? The Russell Barnett Automotive family has launched its new and improved website. That's russellbarnett.com. With over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, then look no further than russellbarnett.com. Online service appointments, customer testimonials, and vehicle history reports, this website has it all. We are the largest Middle Tennessee family-owned dealership with five locations to choose from. RussellBarnett.com and why buy anywhere else? All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. Members of the state champion 11 and 12 year old Tullahoma Little League baseball team were recognized at the Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting last week. Let's watch that video. An important part of community leadership is recognizing achievement and accomplishment. And so the group that we're bringing up now is certainly worthy of recognition and you'll learn why in just a minute. Winston asked them to line up here. You guys have a line up right here. Okay. Um, the Telema 10 and 11 year old Little League All Stars captured the Tennessee State Championship on July the 21st with a win over Goodlettsville. This qualified them for the Tournament of State Champions in Greenville, North Carolina, where they played very well, well and fought hard before eliminating in pool play, being eliminated in pool play. Congratulations to the players, coaches, parents, and many fans of this outstanding team. Keep up the good work on the baseball field, in your classroom, in your neighborhood, and in your family. 
be sure to let your coaches know how much you appreciate all the many hours they have spent coaching you, as well as your family members who have supported you and your team. We are proud of your accomplishments and hope to see you continue your play on the baseball field. My hope is that all of you will be future Tullahoma Wildcats. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our state champion Little League 10 and 12, 10 and 11 year old All Stars. So, Mr. Stanton, if you would uh, present certificates and a little token of congratulations. Next, we've got Ryan Dawson. Dave Cooper. Nathan Butcher. Wade Collins. And Hayden Cooper. Uh, Andrew Dawson. <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> Ashton Dawson. <laughs> and Connor King. I'd like to thank the parents and the coaches and parents are all back there in the hall wanting to take pictures. But you know, they they've toted y'all to all these district games and the state games. It takes a lot of money and it's not cheap to do this. Y'all may have raised money or had some fundraisers, but uh, uh, thank your parents. When you get old and have kids you'll understand. <laughs> Zane Hoff. <laughs> Charlie Pierce. Last, Jackson Sheffield. Your coach over here, Mr. Sheffield, one of them. I got to coach him in high school for four years. Can you imagine my for four years? <laughs> it was really something. He was a great athlete. He did a great job for us. And I see that we have another Sheffield coming up. So, uh, uh, Enjoyed coaching you. Enjoyed, I know you've co enjoyed coaching these young men. Take it, gentlemen. Be proud of it. Okay? All right. Clayton Litchford. Litchford. And by the way, this certificate of recognition presented to, and it's for the Tullahoma Little League, 10 and 11 year old division in recognition of your outstanding accomplishment, becoming the Little League 10 and 11 year old division team 2016. District 8 Tournament Champions and 2016 Tennessee State Champions. And this goes to Parker Moore. <laughs> and if you don't want the cookies, I'll be glad to take them. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here celebrating the accomplishments and achievements of these young people, uh, Mays and Snipes. Evan Tomlin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, state yeah, champion. And we'll be right back after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. 
Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. Tullahoma Police Chief Paul Blackwell stopped by our studios last week to bring us up to date on the activities at the police department. By the way, school has started back. You want to comment on it that? It has. School has started back. We're into about our uh, uh, first complete full week. Uh, uh, traffic's picked up just like we talked about, you know, the taking kids to school, picking them up from school. Uh, our school, our flashing lights are on and, you know, really we're having pretty, we're having good response from the parents and, mm -hmm. and people driving through the school zones. We do have an issue over at East Lincoln School, uh, the elementary school there on East Lauderdale Street. It runs into the west side of the building where they pick up the kindergarten kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of residences on that road, and what we're having are the parents are blocking the private driveways. Oh. So we're having to get out there and tell them, look, don't block these private driveways for right. medical reasons or, you know, the person just going in and out. Sure. So we're having some issues with that. Uh, I don't really know how we can resolve it because the way the school's built, and, and that's where they pick up kids. We uh -huh. just have to educate the folks to uh, not block the private driveways. Right. Now, with schools starting, the demands on the police department have increased because it's football season, soccer season, soon to be basketball season, and, you know, and all those things require a police presence. So we're having to call people in on their off-duty time to work right. overtime. And... Uh, so that, that's a big demand on our officers. We, we like our officers when they have time off to be with their family and to do something away from police work because you have to, you have to separate it. Uh, but then we have to also then say, well, we need you to work an extra four or six hours right. to go work a football game. So you know, I hope the community recognizes that when they see officers at these events, they're on overtime. Mm -hmm. they're, they've already put in their 40 hours for the week and now we're asking them to give more Right, and uh, uh, you know, and and I would imagine for a football game where there's six or seven thousand people, that's a pretty challenging thing for you guys we, to deal with. We've got to have them. more than one or two working. We've right. got to have a pretty good presence, and we have the coffee pot game coming up here on the nineteenth. Right, uh, a week from this Friday, and that'll be capacity crowd. That'll be capacity crowd, and we we've, we've got to have a lot of. You know, almost every officer will have to work. Right, and and majority of those will be on overtime. So, you know, again, I hope the community recognizes that and, uh, you know, tells these officers thanks for being out there. Right. Uh, you know, we've got a great community, and, and over the last few weeks, we've just seen an outpouring of support mm -hmm. from the community. And, uh, you know, every opportunity I get, I want to tell the citizens of Tullahoma, thank you. Uh, we recognize the support you're giving us and we really appreciate it. I think it's pretty neat as a private citizen to know that people are at this time, it's unfortunate the events that led up to this, but but it, it, I think it's really nice that people are beginning to realize the job our police officers do or and law enforcement people in general and first responders yeah. that uh, you know you guys are running towards crises when the rest of us are going the other way. Yeah. So I, I went to the chief's conference a couple of weeks ago and one of our instructors was a police chief from Illinois mm -hmm. and he gave the perfect example and it's kind of the basis for his talk it's like walking a dog and, you know probably all of us got have a dog we can we can walk one dog with no problem right and that one dog is generally our personal life you right. know, we pretty good control of our personal life then you add that second dog try to walk two dogs at one time you know and that second dog is maybe your work environment yeah so you got one dog's your personal life 
two dogs your work environment most people have those two dogs yeah you throw a police officer in there he's going to have to walk a third dog yeah and that third dog is the streets what yeah. we deal with on the streets right uh and, and nobody else has that third dog uh, yeah you know, think about it um you know most people have their personal life and their work life they have to deal with yeah then we get the police officer he's got his personal life his work life the you know how you do your job and then we have the what you deal with in your job the streets right so walking three dogs almost becomes impossible right and and that's why you know i said before when officers are off we want them to be off and enjoy their families and you know some when they're away from the job right so i like that analogy and i think it's very applicable uh you know, sure walking three dogs is very hard to do we'll be right back in a moment with more news later on six we're losing it doctor not on my shift quickly brush roller what a transformation it's gonna be okay okay nothing at Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks. Keith Barnett here with the Russell Barnett Automotive family, and we have your next truck. From the Ford F-Series, the Ram, Chevrolet, or the GMC, then look no further than the Russell Barnett family. With over 350 new and pre-owned trucks to choose from, now is the time to buy. Stop by one of our five locations, that's Russell Barnett Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Chevrolet GMC, Ford of Winchester, and Russell Barnett Ford in Kia of Tullahoma, or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. Why buy anywhere else? It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades and summers unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. Mayor Lane Curley has announced a new initiative to get Tullahoma residents moving. John Gray spoke with Francis Samples from the Tullahoma Parks and Recreation Department about the program. Francis is here from Parks and Rec to tell us about some stuff that's happening in town. And Francis, thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having us. And I've got John Neal with me too. He's the program coordinator on the program manager for Parks and Recs. And we're here today to talk about um, Walk Across Tennessee. In another initiative of the mayors, of Mayor Curley's, was to get fit Tullahoma, and we have partnered with the UT Extension have Office. Have y'all got hotel rooms lined up oh, yeah. and, or mm -hmm. what? Yeah. <laughs> We're walking across Tennessee. We're going to walk from Mountain City all the way to Memphis. We're going to come through Crossville, come down McMinnville, come through Tullahoma, and then come back up to 840 into Memphis. And we're going to do it from the city of Tullahoma. We're going to walk 572 miles here locally the same amount of mileage that would be from so you don't need a hotel you don't right? need a hotel no we got don't plenty have of to hotels quit work here. no you don't have to quit work <laughs> you can do it with the teams from one to five uh, if you have a five-man team it's about two miles a day that you would have to do in eight weeks it's going to be an eight-week program it's going to start August the 21st because of the UT Extension Office it's a Sunday through Saturday uh, mileage log that you do and then it's going to um, the mileage will do our we're going to have it'll start august the 21st and end october the 15th i think it is and that'll be an eight-week program so there'll be prizes for the first person that makes it to memphis we're going to have maps throughout the city we're going to have sponsors you want to talk about sponsors um, well, let, me, let me ask a question first before you get to sponsors okay. Or is there going to be a route, or, do, or will people just wear something that, that shows mileage? No, what they'll do, John, is um, they can walk in their local neighborhood. They can walk in our greenway. They can walk at the local small tracks at the elementary school, and they have a team captain if they're a team of five. And what they'll do, they'll calculate all their miles, and they'll email Walk across Tennessee at TelahomaTN.gov, and each week I'll calculate up all the miles, and I'll go move pinpoints across all the maps we have around the town. Right, right. To um, so we can calculate and see who wins. 
Oh, that's so great. So as they that's make progress idea. down from <coughs> Fountain City, we'll move their their markers down as they progress down the state of Tennessee, across down through Tullahoma because they wanted to go through Tullahoma. So, and when we're going through Tullahoma, we're going to have sponsors in Tullahoma so that we can have events at, every, at, during this eight-week period at, at different uh, at different the venues. sponsors' location. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we'll also have celebrity walkers every Thursday. Uh-oh. So uh, we'll have to. We're working on the list right now. So. What about celebrity crawlers? Can you? We can, yeah, sure. <laughs> come on. Yeah, you'd be a good celebrity a bit, crawler. <laughs> Low crawl. Oh yes. Now that will be Thursday nights at Fraser McEwen Park. Oh, at that's 6 great. PM. Yes. So that that'll happen at the same place. Then every place, time that does. So that's time. that's really that's a good idea. Yes, and um, if you want in for more information, we're we're really excited about it. Uh, we're looking for as many teams to sign up. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, and um, it's a great get fit initiative. That's for sure. And uh, we're working with the UT Extension Office, get fit, and all the local businesses that are going to be our Very sponsors. Good. And we're going to have some great celebrity walkers. We're hoping they'll be coming. They're all pretty much celebrities from the city of Tullahoma, oh, of right, course. Right, so, right. so we're looking to try to get the football team out there and other other venues too, mascots and things like that. So it's cool. And it starts um, the 21st and ends the 15th of October. And don't forget to tune in this week's Living Show tonight at 6:30 p.m. Thursday morning at 9 a.m. and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6:30 p.m. This week's guests include Laurel Stone, who will invite everybody out to a community-wide baby shower. Tulum High School head coach John Olive will come by to speak to us about the upcoming Wildcat football season, and we'll hear how you can take your little princess to a royal masquerade ball. All that and more on this week's Living. And stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. The Kia Summers on Us sales event is going on right now at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. Let me tell you about this event. Purchase a new Kia Sedona, Kia Optima, Kia Forte and receive 0% financing up to 66 months and your first three payments for free. For a limited time only, no strings attached. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. The Kia Summers on Us sales event going on right now. Why buy anywhere else? All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades. And summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. High record high was in 2007 at 102 degrees. The record low was in 1929 at 52 degrees. Average high on this day is 88 and the average low is 66. 40% chance of storms in your forecast for tonight with a low expected of around 73. A 70% chance of storms in Wednesday's forecast with a high of 89 and a low of 73. And that chance of storms drops to 50% on Thursday with a high expected of 86 and a low of 73. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.